project to share with you for my craft fair series. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I am so excited about this project and it has been a long time coming. My mom and I collabed on this and she is like seriously the star of the show on this one because we took these Dollar Tree mini binders and turn them into little pieces of art. And I can't wait to show you what she's done with these. I'm so excited. So these are the binders that you can get at Dollar Tree. They have a variety of colors. I have found pink, blue, um, like an aqua, a green, a yellow, an orange. I believe there was an orange somewhere. <laughs> So this project is inspired by one of my favorite crafters, Rebecca Hoot. She, um, I don't know if it was last year or a few months ago, but she had like a planner, like one of those ones that snap. It has the rings inside. And I think she had like a duplicate color maybe. I'm not sure. And she was like, why not? I'm just going to paint it because she's a wonderful painter and she makes cute little um, art prints and things like that. But she went ahead and painted her planner. So... When I saw these, I had the idea to alter these and paint them because just these alone, they can look a little cheap or just maybe not really dressed up for, for what we're using them for. And so I recruited my mom because she's a great painter. She has been painting like her whole life. She loves to do whimsical drawings and things like that. So I asked her and she was so excited about it. So she got out her acrylic paints and she did such a beautiful job. I'm gonna show you each one individually, and it's just fun. Even if you are not, even if you don't consider yourself an artist or don't have any experience in painting, get some of those apple barrel acrylic paints or the folk art ones, they're really cheap. Get them and just get out your brushes and just have fun with these $1 binders. I mean, you have literally nothing to lose. <laughs> so let me show you what she did. And then something exciting, my mom painted one on video and I'm going to show you the process of that. She's not going to do like a step-by-step -step tutorial, but it's more of a relaxing process video watching my mom paint one of these. So I am so excited to share that with you. Um, but let me share the paintings that my mom did and then what we're doing with the inside. So I'm going to start out by showing each and every one to you and she does seal it with Mod Podge um, and she also has like another sealant. I can't remember the name of it but I will try to link everything below that she used but here's the first one. It's a green binder and she painted a beautiful fall scene. So I'm going to set the rest of this to music and then I'm going to come back and show you what we did with the inside. options with the insides of these and um, we're calling these art binders but some of them can be used as a planner and I'm going to show you what we did here this one is so simple there's not going to be like a tutorial because it's like super self-explanatory but this one I took and got the Dollar Tree planner goodies that you can get um, that go with these binders so first of all I bought this set here and it's just the um, internet passwords and it has the punched holes already in it and I just put in these dividers that came um, in a pack there's three in a pack from Dollar Tree and then here there was a pack of um, blank like week pages so you can fill them in and use this as your planner and you can get as many of these as you need for the full year so there's a divider and then more and then another cute divider and then the last part. 
So that is like the planner version. You can get all this stuff at Dollar Tree. Um, but this was, um, this cost, so the binder was a dollar and then this was a dollar. The dividers were a dollar and then the insert was a dollar. So that's one, two, three. That's four dollars that I spent in total on this. And then my mom, of course, made it beautiful with this painting. So I have another idea that's more cost effective and I do have a tutorial on my channel for this and I'm going to link it at the end so you can go over watch it and make this too. So I just took this one and I went into my stash and and I just cut I just made some folders and cut down paper that I already had in my stash. So this is what I did. I made I think three or four folders for each one. So this is so easy. You just use a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook paper and there's a double pocket and there's actually a pocket up there. So that's um, the first page. And then here I just cut down a sketchbook that I had and I got it like on sale like at TJ Maxx. And so I just cut it down to size and then I put a piece of scrapbook paper in between. Here's a couple more the sketch pages and then it just repeats so another cute folder more sketch paper you can watercolor on you can marker use markers on it you can journal whatever and then here's like a little divider another cute folder so you get the idea just more of this watercolor sketch paper and then another cute folder and then so on and so on so you can put as many in here that will fit I do have several folders and several scrapbook papers and that was just so much fun to do and I do a full tutorial on how I created this, how I did the folders, how I punched the holes to fit this and everything and so I'm going to link that at the end of the video. You can just click on it and it will take you right over. I already have a video. So that's all the cuteness that this has and actually this ended up costing me, I can consider it nothing because I've had this paper in my stash forever and um, just a few pennies for this paper here because I got a whole big thick pad of it on sale. So you could definitely mass produce more of this and it would be more cost effective if you're trying to use up your paper. And so I think that's super cute and it's called an art binder and I just absolutely love how this turned out. This one is my favorite. It is so beautiful. The colors and the, the cactus scene are just so pretty. Next, I'm going to share the amazing process of my mom painting one of these. I hope you enjoy.
for the pricing on these, we're going to be charging $15 at the craft fair. And so that's for the painted binder and the insert. And I have a little bit of good news for you guys. My mom is offering these for sale and she's going to let you guys have first dibs on these. So if anybody is interested in purchasing one of these original pieces of art from my mom, then please go ahead and click the email below and she will get back to you. So whatever she doesn't sell, you know, here on my YouTube channel, she's going to take to the craft fair, but she wanted to offer this exclusively to you guys because she knows that you're all artists and craft lovers yourself. So again, the price is $15 plus shipping so she will let you know all the details um, and this is not going to be a lyric lover email it's going to be my mom's email so make sure that you check that email I'll put it right on the top of the description box below and so they're $15 each plus shipping and she will give you the details and some of them I have not created the inserts for yet so if you want one of them that does not have the inserts in it yet that is going to be $12. So I just wanted to let you guys know. And whatever's left, she's going to sell at her craft fair. She's not going to package these, of course, in any type of clear bag. She's just going to have them in a bin on her table. And then if somebody purchases one, we'll wrap it up really nice in some tissue and put it in a nice gift bag. So there you have it. That's our craft fair idea for you. So go out and find some of those mini binders. And even if you can't find the mini ones, get the big ones, the $1 ones at Dollar Tree, and put a work of art on the cover. So thank you again so much for watching. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Big thank you to my mom for being a guest crafter. I absolutely love this project. Thank you to all of you for all the support. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!